welcome to another tutorial. The tutorial is based on texturing. Um, when people create um, things within Maya, um, they often take you from start to finish, but obviously them videos are normally about an hour, hour and a half long, and obviously I haven't got that time sort of spare, so I thought I'd just take you to, through the final process of um, adding colour to a character. Um, so, as you can see, um, we have a wireframe of the Hulk, and when we put his tones on, um, we have the Hulk. So what we're going to do today is we're basically going to um, add some texture. Now, texture is basically um, what animators um, call basically painting, um, but there's a lot of kinds, a lot of different types of texturing um, that you can apply to. Uh, various pieces of animation um, it's basically um, what looks the best um, and what looks more realistic um, and it's also preference as well obviously um, so let's look at um, this this is basically concept of um, um, where I've got my design from and this is what I've been modeling the Hulk from um, and as you can see we have up here um, in the top left we have um, our Hulk which is more toony um, and less film looking um, so it's, it, it, he looks more cartoony here um, and he's got the purple pants which is obviously his signature um, item of clothing um, and here we've got um, a more of a movie look style Hulk um, very detailed, more details and has more detail and shaded than this guy here um, you can, you know, see the muscle definition, tone shading, and blacks like that. But because we're doing this um, to animate, um, we don't really have to worry about all the shadings because this character, um, if you look at the film, uh, which I've got a little clip here, uh, I'll be showing you a little clip of the Hulk in a sec, um, you can basically see that he moved very, very quickly. Um, so there's no chance of seeing um, basically um, detail in the character because he mo moves so fast. Um, so just take a look at this trailer um, and you, you basically see a, get a rough idea of what I'm talking about. So. As you can see, very quick. Moves very, very quick. So there's, you know, most of the time it's very, very dark um, and dingy and the speedy moves is, is frightening. So you can sort of hide certain detail through this. Very, very quickly, Bruce. He's not on the screen for more than one second at a frame. Maybe a bit longer. Maximum, I'll say about four, four, four seconds per scene. Okay, so as you can see what I'm talking about, very, very quickly, moving very, very fast. So we're not aiming for maximum detail here, we're just aiming for um, colour definition here. So we'll go back to our project. Here. So let's start with some texturing. Um, <coughs> we go. Um, for my various angles, we've got a camera angle here, um, which is basically what's going to render him. And we've got our front view, um, I've got my side view here, and I've got my top view. So we'll stick with this view at the moment. 
um, basically what we want to concentrate on is texturing. Um, texturing in a sense where um, you've got various types. I mean, there, there will be sort of like matte textures and stuff like that, but obviously I, I wouldn't want to put a matte texture within this. So about the background noise. So obviously, um, you, as you can see, this has got more of um, of a matte sort of finish to it, and um, the arms and stuff like that. So what I'm going to try and do is give it a bit of a glow. Um, so basically, he looks a lot more. Um, it looks like more of a skin tone rather than just a piece of porcelain, because obviously this was moulded so um, and shaped, so we don't want it to really look like that. Um, we want it to look um, sort of like with a flesh tone like this, but have some sort of a shine to it. So um, I'm going to right click on that. I'm going to go to assign the flavoured material. Um, these are my favourites. And then I'm going to add a blind to it. Now, as soon as we add that, you can see that it's changed the texture of this, this, this part here. Okay, so we're going to go to our blind. Um, and it basically only adds the colour into the parts that I want it to. So this is all down the right side here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change that skin tone. Um, so I'll go to a sample here. And we're going to have a nice sort of green. Um, which is the colour of the Hulk. Um, so now as you can see, I mean that's a little bit too dark actually. That's way too dark. Um, I'm going to bring it down here. Yeah, that's a bit better. So that's about halfway here like that. So we're going to keep that like that. Um, so that don't, that don't look too bad. Um, so next I want to finish off the um, adding the material. Oops. Add favourite material, blind. And then we're going to add the same sort of green here. And we're about here. Now, obviously, the hardest bit to do is to match up the greens. But I think I'll get there. Um, what's that about? Anyway, we'll go through the concept and then I'll order the green um, afterwards. Um, so in this um, picture here, it's got purple shorts. So we're just going to stick with a purple um, just for time, time consuming sake. Um, but I'm going to, I'm not going to actually change it to a blind because I want it to be um, sort of like a matte material. So I'll just find purple somewhere. I'm a bit lighter. And we'll have our purple like that. Like so. But we need to change this arm because this texturing is awful. So, go back and try and find a bit of green. This one that's going to match up. that side because that's that side is going to be doing most of the smash and grab so that's why I've rigged it up differently um, that's just smash and grab on right, um, I'll say there mm, it looks like he's got another arm but we'll come back to that um, if this is just basically to give you a rough idea of how I do it um, we're going to add a new material here now Lambert and then we're gonna we're gonna have this as purple as well um, just for time's sake and do like that and retrace the purple and bring the purple up here like that. 
Okay. So it is just for time's sake when I have the material whipped around there. That technically should be a shirt, but I prefer it there. And Holt doesn't really usually wear a belt, <laughs> um, but I've stuck a belt in him this time. Um, well, he always dresses different, doesn't he? He's a bloke. Um, so I think I'm going to go for the blind tool here. Um, and then we're going to have a brown belt, hopefully. Hopefully. Nice dark brown. Like that. And we can have a. We could have chrome bustle. Buckle. See, all this will come together once you render out. Okay? You, you can't see the full, full effect until it's rendered, and I'll show you a bit of rendering in a minute. Right, so we're going to go for silver. Yeah, um, bring it. Uh, there. Okay, and we need to turn this bit to brown as well. So this is the end of the belt. Um, let's stick with Lambert. Okay, so that looks okay to me. Um, it's just getting this on right, so I will do that now. So I'm that one. Okay. Um, I'm just going to spin it around just to check to make sure it's the right shading. That's better. Okay. So now we've got this part done. Uh, we need to focus on his face. Um, so we're going to obviously do that same colour. Um, but first we're going to um, assign the blind tool. So we get that nice chrome look. Um, hair is going to be matted. Um, so that's going to be slightly different. And the eyes um, are going to be slightly different as well. Um, so let's add his skin tones. Uh, that's what his face. So I need a blind. And let's give him a nice green face. And that's a bit too green. So a new material line. So we should have it up in our last checkbox. Don't know why that's happening. Oh, that's what happened. It's just shaded a bit. Right, so that's not bad. He's looking not too bad now. Um, um, the hair, um, obviously, in Hulk, he's black here. Um, in the movie, he's black as well. Um, as you can see, so I don't know where they got this 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 thing here from because he's got black hair, but we're gonna um, we're gonna stick with the black um, for this one. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna do the same concept. Um, we're not gonna um, bother with um, adding any special um, textures to this because. There's no point. He's going to move so quickly, you're not going to see his hair move. Um, that's why I think no one really bothers with the hair. Unless it's one. <laughs> Sorry about that. I've got to go mental. Dog's going absolutely mental. I've just had to bang on the sofa there. So they shut up, the annoying gits. Just what happens when you do a live tutorial. We do a tutorial sort of off your back and not prepare for it or get rid of the dogs <laughs> so there's no noise in the background. Right, okay, so he's looking pretty awesome. Um, we're going to make some minor touches on that. Um, but first of all, um, we're going to make some touches on the belts. So we're going to select that um, signing material. We'll go with the Lambert again and then we're going to change that to the purple which I should have already selected like that 
Um, and then what we do is we're going to render him out. So you can see exactly what I mean about rendering. So we're going to hit that. Oh, and then we're going to have Bosch. Right. But first of all, let's bring him a bit closer. Right. So here he is. Um, I'll do a detailed render because um, obviously I think this character is going to take a bit of time because um, I've got to set up the camera for him. If you look here, there is a camera. Oops, sorry about that. There's a camera um, which has to be set um, in order to get good render quality and a good render picture. But as you can see, he's not looking too bad. Um, some minor touches have to be done, um, <coughs> i.e. the um, eyes and stuff like that. And that will be in a separate, separate tutorial showing you basically how I will do the eyes. So see you again soon.